Guess my friend, here we go. That kind of uh, lazy way to do the forming. I just put the concrete, align everything up. This one here is still fresh. We just did it. And then we set up just a block right on top of it for the post. How it working out. All done in one shot. Fresh concrete. After a few hours, set up the block. Tomorrow we clean everything up. This bit of cement here on the concrete on the bottom. It's just to hold the block on place for now. And we have the reba right inside the block for the post. The intention here just for, for you guys to see. It is to go very much on a straight line from the post. And I'm just coming here so it would be just a walk in the shed. Yeah my friend, here we go. Second day on my shed. This is a pre-made shed. Tell you the truth, all the time I do them straight from my scratch. Put the foundation, then I put the block. It's this few of concrete, everything is braced up, good to go. And like you guys can see, this is not a real use to go because it's uh, quite a bit of slope. Every young that you look is a different slope, but it is what it is. So I'm going with my joists in here, start to build the floor. Strong foundations So what we have in here. I have uh, three posts on each side. That make it six post right and now we just use a two by six for the joists all treated and this one here we're gonna have a hump just going to the driveway or once you come you just walk straight through it gonna be nice I might have to put uh, another support in here I can let me move back a little bit that way you guys can see you see the span is uh, a bit long so I just gonna put another post in there on this end you guys can see the braces in there this is to keep everything level. This way and that way the two posts. Don't really need to remove them. You guys can see there I have the other brace. Hold everything in that position so nothing moves. You guys can see gonna be some space at the underneath here. I don't know for. But this is the strongest post. They are about 58 inch apart from each other. So it's very strong. Two by six would do it. And then we're gonna do plywood. So this shed gonna come a little bit past this uh, this beam in here, more or less in here. And the rest just gonna be a way to just walk in with the stuff. We have two doors on the shed and we need the space, but it's gonna be plenty of space. This is a strong shed. They wants to put a uh, heavy stuff on it and you go. And they, like you guys can see, here is where it, the asphalt is in there. I just have a piece of wood holding it together temporarily, but the asphalt is in here. I'm gonna fill in that way the joists, they don't move. And I'm gonna put a, I have a roof underneath the joists and I'm gonna see what else I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to divert the water from here so i just gonna make a little bit slope that way the water doesn't go to the joist the water would just run away once i get it to here you see where this joist is come then once i have the floor i just make a i use the asphalt back the asphalt and uh, make a kind of a slope going up a little bit so that way the water will not go in and we keep going so some of the joists they look a little bit uh, short in there just because I just had 16 foot long but I can use one of this leftover piece just to complete it that way you have support beside all this joist I'm gonna cut this shingle straight to it and put some asphalt just to keep it on place that way they don't move we go this is a great place for a shed we have a big uh, cedar tree in there. Would keep everything cool and the winter no matter snow. On the summer you have everything safe because uh, on the summer if you put one pre-made shed and uh, very hot you boil inside. If you new to the channel subscribe and then we have more content coming up. Let me go in here for another few hours. Tomorrow after after a day of work, stop by for a few hours and start to put the shed together. At least open the, the box and see how it looks like. Because so far I just have the measurement for the floor. So I keep going on the floor. Here I just put old 4x4 there treated to give the extra support in there for the joists. That way we go straight out to the driveway. You guys can see it in here. And I put the screws in all of them. Two screw one side, one screw on the, the other side. This guy here is just extra that I had just the support and later on I just gonna clean up some soil from here that way it's less moisture I have my joist all up except for one on the corner just gonna let the plywood overhang a bit once I have it I have the measurement but I just uh, wants to open the two box that came the shed came in and and then I check it I will just check with the plywood the square looks good and uh, took me about one hour hour and a bit to set up the floor since the last time I 
had the video and this is very strong for a shed okay let me almost wrapping up for the day tomorrow after my regular job i would come back for another few hours as much as i can and get it done this is a diy project a little bit uh, like i said this one is the hardest shed that i ever done because on a slope slope every angle it is what it is for a shed working good serve the purpose hello my friends bayani here so my shed is up we didn't have any problem everything went smooth i just want to show you guys a few little things inside that um, i didn't really like it but is uh it work and few details that need to be worked on okay let's let's show you inside the rest is uh all good like you guys can see though door is open closing good except for this nice chair in here let me move it yeah just not gonna put a light on one thing that i didn't like on it like today is a sunny day outside and it's still very dark in here everything else looks good if we close the door very much you cannot see much in here so i have to run some wire to do the light everything went good i had uh, i had my helper julie she was very good to follow the instruction myself i'm not too crazy about manual but she was like this guy be here and you saw it was very easy i'm just gonna show you this this is there you don't have holes for them you just have to drill the hole you have the screws and then you just have to screw it on straight to the steel so those pieces work good of all of them you have uh, i believe 10 of them this make the shed really strong with this extra support but you might guys might be looking for a, a hole how it goes it doesn't have you just have to screw it on another piece is this piece in here i don't know if you guys gonna be able to see it extra piece that goes here too you have you need to through screw it on like you have to you have the this special screw that goes to the the metal and then you can see here you these two screws that go right on the post for the door to hold everything together you see this is screw going the post the rest was all all good a little bit of a uh, work but uh, i can't complain like you guys can see you follow instruction you have these three pieces in there everything good and everything else very easy very easy to do like i said i just didn't like because a uh, little bit too dark in here i thought the skylight would, would reflect all brightness but not in this case another thing that we had in here that you guys can see the glass for the door you guys can look at them supposed to be the shine side out but they come two pieces the same just for one side so we have to put the shine side in like we're gonna close the door you guys can see see this one is the mat supposed to be inside this one is the shine so it was two pieces just uh, the only thing that came uh, miss miss and wrong was this pieces for the door because the shape of it like you guys see has a shape we could not like just flip it over if it was a rectangular or a square piece it would be a piece of cake but everything else follow instruction and work very good like uh, can't complain and uh, as far as this go as how how good it is hold a heavy rain because the gut is a kind of small that part i don't know because we didn't have any rain yet but we will know but like i say roof looks strong can handle very good load of snow for sure and the plastic let's hope the plastic can last longer but i believe it came with 10 years warranty so we still have a uh, 10 years to to use it oh i hope uh, this is helpful i i can show you guys how was the support for the shed down here we just make a little walkway i still gonna refill a little bit in here i'm just gonna use asphalt to fill in this difference that i have in there underneath there like you guys can see but i'm gonna put few braces just in case i'm just gonna remove some good soil from here clean up some good soil for the plants and then i'm gonna put the brace i have one brace that way and then i'm gonna brace that way again one going here from there I'm gonna brace this this way two braces one on each side one going a different way and on each of them i'm just gonna put uh, two screws that way hold it really 
understand. The thing is uh, strong but moves a little bit. And the other thing is the way it is come is nothing to screw to the floor. And uh, what I done in here, like you guys can come close, you guys can see here because uh, I just want the water to drip off unless I put a drip cup. I just put it uh, about a quarter inch, quarter to half inch. This side is a little bit more because uh, the deck was a uh, board was a little bit higher than the plywood. So, but you guys see here, I have about quarter, three eight all around. That way the water hit, the water would drip, and I observe it. If I had any problem to get this thing too wet, I would just light a dripping cup right underneath it. That way the water would. Drip and go to the ground because the floor is not like real water tight that is complete and looking good and gonna be helpful to keep some uh, stuff not uh, put some shelf on the center you can put heavy stuff but not against the wall like you see this uh, I don't trust to put many sheet of plywood or, or dry or heavy stuff against the shed wall because it doesn't look strong enough but beside that to keep small stuff it is perfect but this one was quite a bit of work because uh, this place is like you guys can see the difference. Quite a bit of difference on the height. So we just had to do quite a bit of work. But the reason we use it in here because the neighbor has a big cedar tree in there and it is just on the shade. So it otherwise it would be very hot. Yeah guys, thank you very much. Please subscribe, put your thumbs up. If you, if you have any question how to put the shed together just uh, write down in the comment ask your question and i would answer it because i just uh, didn't show as much because it was just full instruction and everything goes to place we had no problem i love you guys see you soon